So here we are again, still frigging around with the boat. <clears throat> As you can see, the uh, all the stringers and everything are in. Um, started setting some of the gear up, like the rudder. That's uh, had the post put in, so it's an internal rudder. Uh, it's still bucking around with a bracket at the top of the rudder there, just to support it. With uh, had to slot some of the holes to get the bracket and everything to line up, but just back filling those holes with some uh, with some filler so you get a nice neat hole stuff doesn't move around the uh, skegs in that's all bolted in ready to go it's got to obviously cut the top off of the bolts and whatever but the rudder took a fair bit of time to uh, hang it down a little bit it's not sitting in the right place yet but Made sure that was all square with the bottom of the boat. The cavitation plates all bolted on. Um, those brackets on the top there. Had to muck around with them and uh, yeah, slot those holes as well to get that shaft to move nice and free. It was that far out before I doubt it would have even moved to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's take a little bit of time and. Uh, yeah, get things right. That's a new cab plate as well, so it uh, yeah got all the mounts on it and everything. Even these uh, all these shafts and threads are all bent and whatever. When I got it, but uh, one thing I wanted to show you was the uh, steering helm. So I put a planetary steering helm in it, opposed to the cable and drum that it's had in it before but yeah it's got the uh well the aluminium bezel sits on the front of the dash steering wheel on the end obviously but yeah i wanted to keep that but with the uh steering helms that you get they've only got a short shaft in them so what i've done is made up a stainless steel shaft put the thread woodruff key and a taper on the end put a tap the thread on the inside and uh yeah machine to taper <clears throat> put the hexagon on it so i could screw it up and uh lock it up and then uh yeah mark where the key was and milled a key through the adapter made up a special woodruff key for that and then put it together and locked tight everything in put the key in a bit of a chamfer around the top and uh, yeah, just send a punch it over, but it's all locked tighted on, so that'll never come out. Obviously, the uh, bezel fits over the top of it, like so. It'll sit about there. Took the bush out the end of it, so yeah, it'll go over the shaft, doesn't need it. Only needs a bush on the top end there just to support the uh, shaft. Made up my own mounting plate so that'll bolt onto the onto the helm bolts go through that through the dash and into the back of the bezel and uh yeah everything bolts up all good one thing i did have to do is uh swap the uh protector cable or protector tube for the cable that's normally where your cable would go in, but because it's left-hand drive, that's upside down, and it's a internal rudder. It would have been steering would have been round the wrong way, so that's easy enough to just to swap that over. It just means you can't just don't clip it and take the cable out of there. You just got to undo the bolts, but chance of that having to come apart again would be pretty slim. But yeah, it's uh, coming along slowly. Just about to the stage of. Uh, well, put the two fins underneath, all the holes and everything are drilled for that, and then uh, make up the motor mounts and mount the, mount the motor. But what I'm doing is just sort of putting everything together before I paint the top of it. That's only undercoat at the moment. But uh, the plan is to put everything together and then take the motor back out and then finish the top of it off. Otherwise, you're climbing in there, carting stuff in, chipping your paint. No good, can't have that. So. That's the plan at this stage, but anyway, 
that's where we're at for the moment so uh there'll be another video coming up shortly i guess when uh get a bit more stuff together catch you then